I'm Yamur Bais. I'm a PhD student from Lilo University of Technology, and my pitch is on wood nanofibers for wound dressings. Um, we imagine quite a lot of things today, but once again, imagine the sensation of accidentally spilling boiling hot water on your hand. The intense pain, the potential bleeding, and your immediate need to find relief. It is difficult even to contemplate, right? But for patients living with non-healing wounds, this is the daily reality. Healing is natural in body, but when wounds cannot heal in a normal manner, they become non-healing wounds. Such wounds pose both a humanistic and an economic problem, corresponding to 6% of global healthcare expenditures. Only in Europe, roughly 2 million people live with these hard-to-heal wounds. If not treated, they might lead to severe and enduring issues, such as infection, amputation, and even mortality. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody in this room have used a plaster or a woven fabric, perhaps for a simple injury. But for more complicated cases, like burn wounds or diabetic ulcers, there are more advanced dressings available in the market, but their production is costly and limited. So we still need cost-efficient, feasible to produce, and well-performing wound dressing materials that can support healing, ease wound management, and the patient's pain. So what is the solution? Well, forests cover 70% of Swedish land, and they surely can cover our wounds too. My research utilizes wood for biomedical purposes, where wood powder used as a raw material and directly tempo oxidized. In this process, the delignification and oxidation are done in a single step, without additional pulping or bleaching, aiming to preserve the outstanding characteristics of wood fibers. This, this, uh, not nanofi these fibers are then fibrillated to nanofibers, which can assemble into networks that, so to say, wound dressings. And this assembly is done only by using the intrinsic properties of nanofibers, without additional cross tinker These networks have high water absorption capacity, which can provide a moist environment to support healing, are durable in mat state, which is important for the protection and covering of the wound while keeping it moist, and are transparent, which can allow the medical staff to observe the state of the wound without additional dress like removal of the dressing. The process is straightforward, with a best-of-both-worlds strategy. A sustainable biomaterial production directly employing wood as a raw material while improving wound management. So, how wood nanofibers can assign wound macro problems? You're invited to talk to my foster. Thank you. <laughs> 